Good evening. This is All India Radio Kohima. I'm Ketholeno with the evening news. The headlines. Prime Minister Narendra Modi unveils various development projects worth 20,000 crore rupees in Jammu and Kashmir. Prime Minister Narendra Modi addressing his Man Ki Baat program expresses satisfaction over growth of digital payments in India. Vice President M. Venkai Naidu advises political parties to have code of conduct and media to follow ethical journalism. And Information and Broadcasting Ministry advises private TV news channels against making false claims and using scandalous headlines. Now the news in detail. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today inaugurated and laid foundation stone of multiple development initiatives worth over 20,000 crore rupees to speed development in Jammu and Kashmir. Addressing all the Gram Sabhas across the country at Pali Panchayat in Samba district, Prime Minister said these projects will enhance Jammu and Kashmir's development. He said it is a symbol of change that Panchayati Raj Divas is being celebrated in Kashmir today. Prime Minister said it is a matter of great pride that democracy has reached grassroots in Jammu and Kashmir. Congratulating the people of Jammu and Kashmir, Prime Minister Modi said Pali is on the way to become India's first carbon-neutral panchayat. He said people of Pali have demonstrated what subkaprayas can do. The Prime Minister also launched the Amrit Sarovar initiative aimed at developing and rejuvenating 75 water bodies in each district of the country. Modi also transferred the amount of the National Panchayat Award into the bank accounts of the winning panchayats. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today expressed satisfaction that the culture of digital payment is growing in India. Addressing the nation in his Man Ki Baat program on All India Radio, Modi said UPI has rapidly become part of the country's economy as people are transacting through UPI even in remote villages and small towns. He stated that digital transactions worth 20,000 crore rupees are being done in the country every day. In March, UPI transactions reached around 10 lakh crore rupees. The Prime Minister stated that technology is changing the lives of ordinary people. He said that technology has made lives easier for Divyang people and enabled them to reach new heights. He said the government is constantly making efforts to make resources and infrastructure accessible to the differently abled. Prime Minister, emphasizing on water conservation, said the availability or scarcity of water determine the progress and speed of any country. He said the country is moving forward with a resolve to conserve water in the Azadi Ki Amrit Mohotsav. Modi also discussed mathematics in this edition of Man Ki Baat. He said people of India have given the most research and contribution in the field of mathematics. The Prime Minister greeted people in advance for Eid, Akshay Tritiya, birth anniversary of Bhagwan Parashuram and Vaishak Bhut Purnima. He said all these festivals laid stress on restraint, purity, charity and harmony. The Prime Minister urged people to follow all the COVID protocols like wearing masks and washing hands. Vice President M. Venkainadu has advised political parties to have a code of conduct and media to follow ethical journalism. Speaking on the subject, media role in New India at Press Club of Bangalore today, the Vice President stressed that defection from one party to another is a menace which has to be curtailed by plugging the loopholes in the anti-defection law. He also pointed out that the Speaker in a legislature and the courts must must resolve defection issues in a time-bound manner, maybe in six months or much earlier. Saying that the media play an important role in strengthening democracy, the vice president said that the media should be a mirror of truth and avoid sensationalism. He said media must give equal importance to constructive issues as it gives to obstructive and destructive issues. Recalling the role of journalists during our freedom struggle and during emergency, the vice president asked them to walk on the path laid down by journalists then, who had set a very high standard of journalism. Naidu said, India has the biggest functional democracy and political leaders and media persons must act in the direction of strengthening it. 
Information and Broadcasting Ministry has advised private TV news channels against making false claims and using scandalous headlines. In a detailed advisory, the ministry has called for adherence to the provisions of the Cable Television Network Regulation Act. The ministry said, in the recent past, several satellite TV channels have carried out coverage of events and incidents in a manner which appears to be unauthentic, misleading, sensational, and using socially unacceptable language and remarks. The advisory has cited the Ukraine-Russian conflict and the incidents of Northwest Delhi in particular, where TV news content and debates have been found in violation of program code. The ministry has cautioned private TV channels against broadcasting debates having unparliamentary, provocative and socially unacceptable language, communal remarks and derogatory references which may incite communal disharmony and disturb the peace at large. You are listening to the news from All India Radio Kohima. You can also listen to this news bulletin on News on Air app and YouTube channel AIR News Kohima. Chief Minister Nipirio said land and water are the most valuable natural resources and called upon the people to adopt water conservation. The Chief Minister was speaking after inaugurating the Hydrology Project Convention Center and commissioning automatic weather station and piezometer constructed under National Hydrology Project in Dimapur yesterday. Rio said this technology will improve management of water as well as help the farmers, industrial sectors and domestic users. He said it is a significant step towards modernizing and improving the state's water resources management systems. Rio expressed hope that with this technology in place, the data and information would go to the people and help adopt better practices in the utilization of our water. He further appealed to the department to study, learn and impart training to the farmers as the indigenous mode of cultivation is not going to work. The chief minister asserted that applying scientific knowledge to the existing traditional practices would help in achieving sustainable use of natural resources and food sufficiency. The Kohima District Legal Service Authority organized a mini legal camp at Jepobozu in collaboration with various stakeholders. During the camp, the beneficiaries were distributed with different local language legal awareness pamphlets. Services such as free Aadhaar enrollment, legal counseling, corrections of names, birth or death certificate application were also provided. Other stakeholders provided different schemes benefits to the beneficiaries. Altogether, around 180 beneficiaries benefited from the mini camp from various departments. Department of Post North East Circle under the initiative of All India Pension Adalat 2022 will hold the circle level pension adalat in the office of the Chief Postmaster General North East Circle Shillong on 5th of May. The Superintendent of Post Nagaland informed that the adalat will be held through video conferencing at 11 a.m. In this regard, the complainants are requested to send complaints or grievances in plain paper to their respective regional or divisional heads by speed post addressed to the Accounts Officer, Accounts Office of the Chief Postmaster General Northeast Circle Shillong 1 or email at aoicosbne at gmail.com by tomorrow. And the Department of Art and Culture will be organizing a book exhibition on April 27 and 28. Director Art and Culture Adela Moa informed that the exhibition will begin from 9.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the premises of the Directorate of Art and Culture, Kohima. She said entry to the exhibition and sale is open to all and will be free of charge. The director said books will be sold at discounted rate. To end the news, the headlines here again. Prime Minister Narendra Modi unveils various development projects worth 20,000 crore rupees in Jammu and Kashmir. Prime Minister Narendra Modi addressing his Monkey Bart program expresses satisfaction over growth of digital payments in India. Vice President M. Venkai Naidu advises political parties to have code of conduct and media to follow ethical journalism. And Information and Broadcasting Ministry advises private TV news channels against making false claims and using scandalous headlines. That's all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night. Mm-hmm.